<laughs> Absolutely. Well, the thing is, both these players are so, so good. Off the, the Chilean has dropped the Trick Room is with this probably taunt on the uh, Sarina, if I had to guess. So here we go. We do see um, Kyogre and Incineroar from Chilean Tang, and Incineroar and Raging Bolt on the side of Leonard. Okay, so the, the Intimidates are not going to help out too much here, but both of them have the Fake Out, so there's a really good way to be oh. able to maybe stop the... Uh, Ooh, interesting. So, so, um... Talk to me about the speed interaction you just saw that's there. That's right. So, uh, Incineroar on Leonard's side, you can see it has only 190 HP. This is, that is a very fast <laughs> Incineroar. Turbo. Not turbo only, it, this is, this is Turbo Incineroar. <laughs> this is Incineroar. And he's been running on the treadmill every day. You know what I mean? He's got those um, gains. He's got, like she's got the gains. So, here we go. Fago coming out here, not worried about potential Serena. Flinch from the Kyogre. So, the speed order is actually, uh, Incineroar, then Kyogre, then Raging Bolt. Thunderbolt coming out, doing a good chunk of damage. That's half of Shilliang's restricted Pokemon's health. Lost in a single uh, in a single turn, and all that uh, Shilling received in return was a drop on the Raging Bolt. Who, I mean, it's good to get the drop, but it's not the restricted Pokemon. Right. The damage trade is so nice here for Leonard, and I think you feel really good about maybe even seeing what else might be in the back. Shilling yeah. is going to actually bring out the Zarina Ooh. as that third Pokemon. So, what do you kind of make of that? Well, I think it makes sense here, right? You can potentially taunt the Incineroar to stop a parting shot. Although you can also like it's, it depends on if Shilling has realized that Incineroar is faster than Kyogre. Shilling's a great player, so so. Uh, he probably has, but otherwise you might try to be thinking like, okay, like maybe I'll go for like a grass move and a water move into the Incineroar. Uh, I'd actually, or sorry, Ice Spinner and a water move into Incineroar to, to punish whether it, it Terra's or not. Um, but yeah, like, I mean, it, it's it's like, it really depends on who's faster between the Incineroar and Serena because, I mean, Serena is going to have Tailwind support. It doesn't need to be that fast in theory. And so it makes me wonder like, yeah, maybe, <laughs> like maybe, maybe Incineroar's faster than that too. Uh, but we'll have to see here as Incineroar's deciding what it wants to go for here. There is the taunt that it has to worry about. Um, it depends really on, on what Shilling wants to do here. <laughs> It's faster than the Sarina. It's a horse turbo fast. Faster than Kyogre, that, faster than Sarina. Is speed? I mean, it has to be, right? Like, I mean, it could even be a, a nature that boosted speed. So the question is, what does Leonard have to bring into this, right? And it is, I mean, that's okay. a pretty good option. That's a really nice option Urge to have. Or just switching in here. Of course, Sarina does have the option of going for a move, like a, a power whip or something in exchange. It's just triple axle into the Raging Bolt with, I believe it is the Wide Lens item. This is, oh, that's Yeah, the, it should be. Oh, my God. Goodness, that does a lot of damage. It's a lot. I mean, I, especially when the power increases with every hit that you have, oh, too. As long attack. as you hit all three, it's going to feel <gasps> nice. But the they're raging shot playing huge wow. dividends. No freezes. It's not going to KO without a critical hit, but that's a lot of damage, Rose. And all of a sudden, Kyogre, I mean, looking at Chilean's team, like, there aren't that many Pokemon that really want to take Glacial Lands, especially if a boost is involved. So, right. yeah, I mean, like, Calyrex Ice can come in here and start pressuring. Both players do still have access to the Terrestrialization, which is nice. Leonard can go back into Incineroar here saying, hey, you know what? I want to keep my Urshifu alive here. Um, going into Calyrex is like an option, of course, but then, yeah, Incineroar comes in and it can be a little bit messy. So uh, why don't I just go back into Incineroar, make sure that my my Urshavu can probably survive the turn. Even with the wide lens, we do know that it is possible <laughs> yep, it is. For, <laughs> for, for some of these. <laughs> triple Axel Miss. Exactly, for Triple Axel Miss, but also Power Whip. So um, yeah, Leonard playing the slow, which I really like, accepting that Urshavu in the rain, like basically turning Shilliang's rain against him, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I think we've seen this a lot, though. Maybe players just tacking on even Thunder if they're going up into a bunch of rain matches where they expect to see that. But the Zarina is leaving the field. And we're going to end up being able to see Shilliang switch in the Urshifu of his own. So the Surging Strikes here going to be enough to knock out this Kyogre. But when, you, when you're left without the Restricted, what can Shilliang do here? Yeah, I think it's time for Urshifu to start looking like a Restricted Pokemon. Normally, you'd be thinking, OK, well, like even the Raging Bolt is low HP. I mean, it does still have Thunderclap. It can still do a ton of damage to Urshifu. Leonard actually uh, opting for something that might end up really hurting him here, which is that his Calyrex Ice Rider is Terra Fire. We talked a lot earlier on the broadcast about the choice Water, between Terra Water versus Grass. Fire has the benefit of, you know, like not being susceptible to Intimidate, but the downside is that you uh, don't really have a good defensive type against the uh, the opposing um, Urshifu, and with Serena potentially protecting the Urshifu from not only Fake Out, but also Thunderclap, this, this could get kind of messy kind of quickly. It could. I mean, the Shiliang all of a sudden maybe looks like, yeah, well, Urshifu should have been the restricted Pokemon all along. Yeah, Kyogre, Kyogre was really just saying, <laughs> you know what, hey, Urshifu, here's ago. the rain, like, oh, Ice Beam, the uh, Raging Bolt, I'll get it kind of low for you, but yeah, you, you do the rest of the work. Yeah, I'm, you got I'm gonna this, take a you nap. got this. <laughs> well, the Ice Rider Calyrex is coming in first, and then we get a chance to see what Shiliang wants to put next to it, so maybe it is going to be that Darina, like you were saying, Yeah. and uh, that's a really great way to be able to protect it, but it's just the Incineroar. Yeah, I think it makes sense, right? Because 
because if Serena comes in here, you have to choose between um, like taking a Glacial Lance or like you still don't want to take Surging Strikes in the rain, especially like again, both players have their Terra available. So uh, Leonard actually is running the Terra Water on his Urshifu, so getting potentially a pretty meaningful damage boost here. Um, so like, yeah, like just once Serena goes down, I think that Urshifu is a lot more vulnerable to Raging Bull Thunderclap, to Incineroar, um, Intimidate. So yeah, I think it makes a lot of sense to go into Incineroar here and just try to, to buy a turn. Oh, this is interesting, Rose. I, I had missed Ooh. this, or actually it's close combat on the Calyrex, which not only never misses, but also does even more damage than high horsepower. That would be really impactful, especially, you know, maybe not necessarily getting baited into heading into the Incineroar, but maybe you do catch this Urshifu off guard as it is going to terrestrialize into that water type. That's right. It's interesting here because both players like want the rain for their own Urshifu, but they also kind of <laughs> want to tend so that the other Urshifu stops hitting so hard. We'll have to see who they get targets down here. It is actually the Urshifu that makes sense. You don't want to lose Incineroar here because then you're going to be in some trouble. Here's the Surging Strikes into the Calyrex Ice Rider. It's going to do a big chunk of damage with the rain boosting it. Actually, that might be doing so much damage that another one, um, even out of the rain, might KO. It's going to be kind of close. But it's going to be hard to say. Um, we actually do also see very importantly that the opposing Urshifu moved before, like Shilling's Urshifu moved before Leonard's Urshifu. Oh, and this is very interesting as well, Rose, in that that might be a range of Terra Water. That's probably a range of Terra Water Surging Strikes in the rain. Yeah, I think so. I mean, like, it's, it's interesting too because now I think, especially with the defense drop. Yeah. Maybe we have to take a look at how that Ice Rider Calyrex is going to fare in a couple of turns, but. If it, it makes it there. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, if it does. If it does. But especially with the Choice Guard, oh, too. Oh, it's a speed tie! I don't, I, wow. Yeah, so so the other Urshifu moved first last turn, but Trey says, you know what? I, like, I think you're probably about the same speed as I am. And so picking up a KO on the Urshifu, at this point, like, Calyrex Ice Rider may go down, right? And Sinora has the uh, move knockoff, which can potentially take out the Calyrex Ice Rider with the defense drop, as you pointed out. No way it will survive that. It can also go for a parting shot. It goes for a Willows actually into the Urshifu. I think that's a great play from Shiliang, but like, Rose, there's still this full HP and Sinora in the back. How on earth is... Uh, is Shillian going to get through Incineroar? Like, yeah, okay, you, you can probably deal with the Calyrex, the easy Pokemon. You know, it's yeah. restricted, but it's not, you know, it's just a Calyrex. <laughs> but Incineroar, the main threat, how is Shillian going to get through that? True. I, I don't see a clear answer. No, I, I think it's like kind of Incineroar and Zarina up against the world at this point. Yeah. I uh, To be fair, like, Zarina does still have the Power Whip, so it is a way to be able to hit that Urshifu for super effective damage. But the Urshifu still has a Choice Scarf, which is going to be faster than Zarina. Yeah, absolutely. And here we do see, yeah, Leonard switching out. Uh, Calyrex into Incineroar, and like, yeah, Incineroar basically, like, of course, there's two water Pokemon on the other side. You might think, well, you know, Incineroar, like, how much can it really do against Kyogre, you know, the one of the strongest, like, legendary Pokemon, restricted Pokemon in history, and Urshifu, like, the strongest legendary Pokemon of today, but then you have Incineroar, and it's like, yeah, yeah you know, like, yeah, I'll deal with your Pokemon some other way. I'll, you know, party show, I'll fake out. Here's the Terra, though, coming out for Shiliang. I think this makes a lot of sense. I mean, you need to use it at some point. It is the Serena here, basically saying, I don't want to be weak to Ice, I don't want to be weak to um, Incineroar. I'm just checking if it has Flare Blitz, it does, so it's a good defensive Terra, my thought process is it might be a little bit too little too late. I think so too, especially when you're going to have to take the Surging Strikes as well. With Even the with the burn into the Incineroar, it's still going to do a meaningful amount yeah. of damage. It's not going to do enough to actually get the knockout this it's gonna time. Be close, but but I think you're if right. you use the Flare Blitz, yeah. is there recoil that might just KO you? That's true. That's true. I mean, Incineroar also can't really do that much. It can't like it can it can't really like burn. There's no good target for being burned. Oh, it doesn't like, have Flare Blitz. Yeah. Oh, you know, well, here's still. Power Up. It does connect, so we do see the value in the the wide lens there. A move is always scary to use, even with the wide lens going up to like, 93, 93, 93, 93 yeah, point five or something, something like that. My math is you know roughly correct. So. That's the end of Urshifu, but I think Urshifu's done its job. It KO'd Kyogre, it KO'd Urshifu, and it almost KO'd Incineroar. So, knockoff is meaningful here. That means that uh, Leonard is going to lose the Citrus Berry, which is a big deal. That, that is the first step, I think, in turning this game around. But, uh, yeah, like, I mean, you still have to deal with Raging Bolt. You still have to deal with, um, yeah, like, Incineroar. It's getting, it's getting kind of dicey, in my opinion. Um, just, uh, th yeah, Thunderbolt this arena. You can't thunderclap it because of Queenly Majesty, yeah. but uh, we've also seen that maybe you just go for <laughs> the, the Incineroar. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny to me. Like, you see all these Pokemon you normally expect to have speed in Incineroar, and Leonard's Incineroar is just like, actually, I, 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 I want to go, go first. first. <laughs> I want to go first. I want to go first, actually. So let's see who's faster between the, okay, it is it is uh, Sarina faster than the Incineroar. So, I mean, in theory, Sarina with a power whip critical hit could KO the just Calyrex. Yeah. Like, and then, yeah, I don't see how it beats Incineroar, but, but you never know. You never know. Triple Axel means triple chance to critical hit, if you know what I'm saying. That's true. That's true. I mean, the 30, 
I don't want to do the math on that one, actually. Uh, so. <laughs> uh, anyway, Coward's back on the field here. <laughs> Going to be able to threaten with a close combat. If close combat connects, I think this game is over. But Leonard also knows he doesn't need to rush into it. I think I think a big mark of a... Of a I think this is a person who's a good player and a great player, mm -hmm. like, is the ability to close out games that are probably, like, in your favor, right? Like, 90... Like, it's something, uh, actually, Dr. Aaron Trailer told me one time is that winning a Pokemon game, like, 85, 90% of the time is a lot easier than winning a Pokemon game 99 or 100% of the time. And that just that recognition to say, yeah. yeah, of course, like, I probably won't get critical hit, so I can just attack. Like, that's the, that's the obvious answer. But saying, you know what? Like, Still protective play party safe. shot is so much safer, right? Yeah, so, you can't open yourself up to those small windows exactly. of which you would give over an additional win condition exactly, to your opponent. Exactly, exactly. So I think the fact that Leonard, despite having such a, like, playing such a great game, and having such a big advantage is still like cognizant enough to say, you know what, like, yeah, I'm probably gonna win this, but but let me still play to the best <laughs> of my ability. And look at him, oh, what a great guy, just so just happy. a real gem, and, and <laughs> someone the community is so lucky to have. Um, if you're Shiliang Rose, how, how how are you thinking about adjusting, and, and how do you how are you thinking about dealing with this Turbo Incineroar? Well, uh, how how can you actually be faster than it? Maybe setting up a tail yeah, with the Iron Jugulus. Jugulus. That's a good point. Yeah, because that's something that you wouldn't necessarily know unless you have played Leonard before to say, okay, wow, your Incineroar may just be max speed yeah. with a positive speed nature. Yeah, and I know that that's actually a tech that's been popping up in the last couple of days and even just the past week heading into the event. But I didn't think I would see it with my yeah. own two eyes. In the top eight, I think also <laughs> another thing to point out is that turn one was Fake Out into Kyogre, Thunderbolt into Kyogre from right. Raging Bolt. And it was like 50%. It did, it did exactly. So you have the option of Drastalize and Kyogre. It's not great because it turning into grass means that Calyrex Ice Rider starts becoming very, very scary. But there is the option of switching in that Serena, right? I mean, mm -hmm. if Leonard went Fake Out Thunderbolt and Serena switched in and there was just a, a Water Spout, that's the end of Incineroar. And that, that could change, turn the whole game around. So Leonard really saying, you know what? I don't think you're going to switch right away. So I feel comfortable going for this. I think it makes a ton of sense. But also, like, I mean, it's not the only option that he, that, that Leonard has available, or that, that Shilling has available to him. Like, he, Leonard had to get the call right. And this is another option, actually, saying, you know what? Like, Incineroar <laughs> was a problem, actually. Why don't I just lead with both my, uh, <laughs> both my, my water, water attackers? By the way, uh, Rose, something that's really interesting to me here is that because Leonard's Incineroar actually outspeeds Raging Bolt, you could go for Terra Grass and knock off into Kyogre and take out the... There's no way. There's oh, no way. No. There's no way. No way. Wait. <gasps> oh, no. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Serena has got to be the switch in here saying, yeah, you're going to fake out one of them. Leonard says, you know what? Maybe I, I won't. I'm not going to do that. I'm Knock not going to do that. Knock off the It's not even going to tear it anyway. So oh this Zulfus is gone. And Here's the, the water falls. spout. There's no way it survives this with no the, with the way. Bolt. Okay, <laughs> that's the end of Incineroar, but Kyogre's gonna take a ton of damage Incineroar's here. Incineroar's already done his job. Incineroar did more than a job. That has a critical hit. <laughs> Maybe it mattered. I don't think so. Um, <laughs> and Volt Switch here, really, really important. Last game, the Raging Bolt, we saw how good it would have been against the Urshifu, but oh my god, it's just so much damage. There's no more switching to Glacial Lance Rose. Uh, no, there isn't. Like, that's going to be so tough. Like, uh, we don't want to see uh, Urshibu take that. There's nothing else behind the scenes that you might want to be able to take that either. Maybe, maybe in Snow yeah, Maybe. yeah, I guess so. It's the combination of the water and the ice move. The, the, the Shilling does still have Urshifu to switch in, and this Serena, I mean, it is pretty threatening. We saw how much Triple Axel did to Raging Bolt last game. We also saw how much Power Whip did to Urshifu last game. So with the Terra Water, with Defensive Terra, if you're willing to commit that, it can, it can really change things a fair bit, I think. But the problem is that without Incineroar now that Trey has sacrificed, like, uh, like Serena's a lot more threatening. And it looks like Serena is going to have to actually be the carry of this game um, as well. So we'll have to see kind of how Leonard deals with it. The only thing is that because the Raging Bolt is so much health, here this game, it's a lot less scary for, for Leonard to set up Trick Room, um, mm -hmm. because like Raging Bolt plus Calyrex, like that ice plus electric coverage is very, very, very threatening, especially yeah. with close combat to do even more da damage to opposing Incineroar. You can't just necessarily Terra the Serena, That's right. because then you are making yourself more vulnerable exactly. to that Raging Bolt. Yeah, so I feel like the, the where, how this game plays out really depends on if Leonard can find a way to get through both Kyogre, or to take out the Kyogre and deal with the Serena without giving up too much ground. You're so safe here. It feels like they just go for the Glacial Lance, though. You, you really are. The question is, what do you do with Urshifu, right? Because you can you turn into Kyogre, bring in your Raging Bolt. Here's the Terra from the Serena, so Ooh. both player. No, so uh, Shilling has used the Terra now. Leonard is saving his potentially for Raging Bolt to get it out of a tight spot. Or, or yeah, like Terra Dragon can be pretty nice uh, in theory. Um, here's the close combat, though. Not going after the Kyogre here, saying, you know what? I think that he's using Ooh. the Unnerve. He's put both Pokemon into Glacial Lance uh, right. range. 
Right, exactly. Yeah, Zarina, though, taunt comes take out. a look at the taunt. You can't go for Trick Room here, but it was the Glacial Lands that yeah. Leonard did opt into. So Here's will both the of these go down? Thunder into the Urshifu does knock it out, but it's about this Glacial Lands and whether or not it's going to get the you double know, KO. This Kyogre's probably got a lot of defense investment because it's the Assault Fest. It has a lot of defense investment. It's likely to know it's not that fast. How much is Glacial Lands going to do? A double knockout. Calyrex Ice getting two boosts to its, special, to its physical attack stat. Oh my goodness, what an incredible play from Leonard saying, you know what? I think that you're going to go for Taunt or, or maybe uh, Icicle Spin or, or, or um, Triple Axel into my Urshifu is predicting the obvious U-turn. I'm going to take out the Serena, the biggest threat to my team. And now Raging Bolt's Thunderclap threatens that Urshifu immensely exactly. and there's no defensive Terra available on Shiliang's side. Wow. And with the Serena out, there's absolutely no reason to like not... You don't have to go for the there's Trick Room. no mind games. Yeah, you already were taunted anyway, but still, yeah, just priority spam. We have not seen the last Pokemon, though. It is the Iron oh. Jugulus this time. Two Pokemon that I don't want on the field when I have... When my opponent is Raging Bolt, I gotta tell you, our, our Iron Jugulus and Urshifu. Raging Bolt probably close to being able to close this one out on its own. The question, though, is how much will Thunderclap do? Will it pick up a one-hit KO on the Urshifu? In past formats, Urshifu did like train themselves to survive it, but with how much speed and attack you need to deal with Calyrex Shadow Rider, there's no guarantee anymore. It's such a tough call. But I think, like, oh, oh Aqua Jet to get around is so smart because now the Thunderclap is going to fail. That's right, that's right. Urshifu's Choice Garbage were just locked into that. The thing is, if Iron Jugulus goes down, there's no way that it will ever be able to beat this uh, This Raging Bolt. Hurricane comes out, baking out of confusion. There's no confusion. Glacial Lance comes out. Iron Jugulus will fall. Oh, my goodness. Urshifu loses half of its HP, and Calyrex take it, takes its third KO of the match and all but seals this up for Leonard. Yeah, I, there's no surviving, I think, for this Urshifu. You're, even though you're locked into the Aqua Jet, the Raging Bolt could still Still just go for a Thunderbolt here, get around it, and There's get the no knockout. There's no option left. Wow. Leonard actually going for the Terra Terrestrialization there, but Shiliang <laughs> understands, case. just in case, you know, understanding that the match is over, Shiliang.